Hey guys, Thunder Shot here. I'm back with a overdue video. I've been focusing on streaming more, which I'll be streaming at twitch.tv slash Thundershot TV because I'm still working on getting the Thundershot name from a very much larger streamer. <laughs> uh, and focusing on school. But I said, you know what? It's 1.45 a.m. on a Monday. Might as well make a new YouTube video ranking animes. These are animes I've seen for the most part. Uh, some of them I have not seen fully, but I've seen at least the majority of each of these animes. Um, and I have some animes I'm currently watching that aren't on this list because I have not seen the majority of them, uh, like Azure Lane, Prince of Tennis, um, and some other ones as well. That just aren't on this list, so who knows? Maybe on stream I will uh, make a new new tier list once I you know rack up a couple more animes. That this is twenty one so far, and some of them are the main series and then the movie, and some of them are the main series and then a second spin off series, or it's the like series like Naruto and Naruto Shippuden are two different things and Naruto Shippuden and Naruto spin-off Rock Bean and Ninja Pals are two different things as well. Right? But I was going left to right. So first we start off with Sword Art Online. Sword Art Online for me was like the first real anime I watched. I grew up watching Pokemon, Digimon and stuff like that, but Sword Art Online was kind of like the first like I don't know like how most people describe anime. That I, I really sat down and watched. I've seen the majority of it. I've seen season one. I've seen the S S S A O A F O G G O. Then that weird part of the weird A F O storyline, the G G O storyline. Right. I've seen everything but the newest season. I should say. Uh, and it kind of holds a place in my heart because it was the first anime I watched, and I really love a lot of the characters and a lot of the storylines. But it does at times feel like it's like a D Gen anime about uh Ubu Gamer a quirky boy. Uh I don't think it's an S tier. I think if I had to put it anywhere, I think I would I think I'd put it at a salt A. It's a good anime, really cool fight scenes and really good music. Uh really good intros, outros, but some of the storyline and plots are just not fully there. My opinion, uh, it's just not. I don't think it's good enough to be an S tier anime, but I heavily enjoy watching it. But you know, I enjoy watching other animes a lot more, right? Oh, this next one, it's a little bit uh weird because I haven't seen the full Cowboy Bebop movie. Uh, I've seen a little bit of it, but what I did see, I really liked. And if it's anything like the anime, it's an S tier for me. Uh, just the co anything cop would be bobbed in S tier. That is just a rule. Okay, so let's go on next. Let's go Pokemon Black and White. Now, Pokemon Black and White was the second Pokemon series I watched. The first one was the original, and Black and White was my second one. So, I because I watched this, I watched halfway through second season, which is like fucking whatever the orange thing is, right? The Orange League or something like that. I, I think orange is a theme. Uh, <sighs> Welcome Black and Bright. For me, it was one of those really enjoyable animes that you don't have to think that much, but it still had a very solid plot. Uh, for instance, like, you know, it's very standard cookie cutter Pokemon with some new features, new characters. I did watch it a long time ago, so I can't tell you too much about it, but I remember right, I liked it a lot. But, I mean, obviously it wasn't super interesting, some of the plots were not obviously the most in-depth, the fight scenes were not always the best. But as I saw B tier, it's enjoyable, but it's not really too bad, it's not really too good, so like, B. I don't think it's bad enough to be a C, but like, good enough to be a B. And now we go on to what might be the weirdest anime I've ever watched. 
and I'm currently watching Azure Lane. And I would rate this next anime weirder than that one. Uh, because I still have so many questions about Azure Lane. Azure Lane is Azure Lane, right? Not Azure Lane, Azure Lane. Uh, Azure Lane, yeah. Sounds right. And I still have so many questions about that. Just like the physics behind it. But this one, this anime, is so weird. It's Naruto's spin off Rock Band and Central Palace. Uh, for you guys who don't know, who aren't D Gens, Nar Naruto Rock Naruto spin off Rock Band and Central Palace is a spin off show that's not canon to the main storyline. Uh, and if you watched it, and it's made in a chibi art style. So, like, obviously, I don't know how well you guys can see it, but. This is kind of it's this art style. This isn't just this is not just for the poster. The entire show is not art style. This show I watch it because why not? Right, it's one of those animes I feel like you watch because why not? There is quite literally no overarching plot lines. Uh, each episode is cut into two episodes, right? So like two ten minute halves. I think that's a better one. Sometimes one relates to the other. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh. And it has, like, one cool fight scene at the very end. But even that's still, like, really questionable. I would rate this, I would say, an F tier. F tier anime. It has its moments. But its moments does not carry the 51 dog shit episodes that are here. Okay? You can't carry that much of an anime it when i had to force my the only way i finished i was playing the background i play video games uh and i watch it dub which i don't worry i watch most so most of these subbed uh it's just because i watched naruto dubbed because i was like younger when i started it and i i just related to dub more than i did sub you know what i mean like no, I like I watch most anime subbed if that's an option. As long as I didn't watch it as a kid before it's dubbed, uh, I watch it subbed. And a lot of the for anyways in the dub, a lot of the voice actors change. Like, uh, my guy changed. Uh, Naruto changed, and people like that. Just like random people that change, I feel like didn't have to. So. It made the show feel a little weird at points because you're dealing with people who you are so used to watch hearing one voice and you hear another right like it's very much i wouldn't say it's enjoyable at all like i it was hard to sit through some episodes so definitely that's like the worst anime on this list i feel like until we hit no wait was it Shiver of Failed Night? Yes, it is. A Shiver of Failed Night was the first anime I watched when I started getting back to the anime this year. It's a very short 12, as of now, 12 episode, one season anime that is supposedly getting a second season, but I you know, obviously I'm not a producer, writer, director, animator, voice actor on the show, so I can't confirm that. Uh, but I've heard rumors on, going around some forums and... Uh, such and I really like this anime it had it's a at the base it's a romance anime because you have the main character who's going to school who is quote unquote a failed knight and you know he falls almost immediately falls in love with his roommate who's a girl in case you're wondering uh, and but it has a really cool subplot of him trying to become a better swordsman. Uh, and the intro. I think the intro alone. Like if I had to rank anime intros. This intro would be the second best intro I've ever heard. The first one being Cowboy Bebop. And yes I'm caught in Crossing Field and such. Like this this intro is so good. I would, I'm going to put this one in S tier. This anime is just... I never, at any moment, hated watching this. I watched it all in one day. Like, 
this anime was so good. I would recommend it to anyone. All right. Like, the character building. There is a... I will say there's one issue I have with it, which is that at times they heavily suggest incest uh, between the main character and his sister, but it's all a para parasocial, is that the word I think it is, relationship. And, but they tie it off at the end by making it not incest. So, uh, like at times you're like, oh, it's a horror anime, but some people would say it's a horror anime, but it's not. It's a romance anime because he picks one at the start. That's it. You can start start the show. That's what you get. Okay. So let's move on to Ord Marksman and the Van Dyes. Ord Marksman and the Van Dyes, I wanted to like. I heard good things about it. Started watching it. The way it. Okay. I know this might sound cringy normie of me but I want the first episode of a show to be good right that's the thing that should be grabbing your attention but the first episode of Laura Marks and the Van Dyes is the worst first episode I've ever seen in my life any tv show I'm counting like live action as well okay it is arguably the worst anime and it, it's just so bad it's it gets you get about 30 seconds of ex exposition. And that tells you basically nothing about the world that it's building. And you're immediately put into a middle of a war where literally nothing is described. You have no idea what's happening throughout the whole anime. And the only thing that carries this anime is that it has a couple cool fight scenes. This is a 12 episode anime. And I had to force, my sit, force myself to sit through it just so I can get it over with. Right? Just so I can say, oh, I can put it on my anime list now. Like, it's just on my anime list. But I would, if I had a friend who's trying to get into the anime, I would, I would suggest Boku no Piku before this. And we all know what the fuck is up with Boku no Piku. So, Lord Marks and the Van Dyes, easily after your anime. It is so bad, so confusing. No idea what's happening. It has a cool couple of fight scenes, but you don't feel any emotion in those fight scenes either because you don't understand each character's motivation. Each character has such similar character. Like, they, so many characters look the same in a middle of a fight. They have no idea who's who. Right? Uh, now we move on to our first kind of, I would say, Super main, actually, not I guess SAO, but this is the anime most people have watched and most people debated. I think as one of the biggest fan bases of any anime, uh, which is Naruto Shippuden. Pretty sure it's Naruto Shippuden, yeah. Kind of hard to tell because the image I have is not too clear, but yeah, it's Naruto Shippuden. Now, Naruto Shippuden, uh, obviously, you have to watch the original Naruto Shippuden. You don't have to, but it's heavily you should. If you watch Naruto Shippuden without watching the original, it's kind of confusing at points. Uh, but obviously, I've watched the original Naruto show beforehand, so... So, Shippuden, I think, is a really good show. The, f the canon episodes, not fillers, are some of the best shows I've ever seen. Despite some of the community uh, heavily... Favoring towards Itachi, uh, which I disagree. I, I don't think Itachi is a bad shinobi or weak or anything like that, but I think the community hypes him up too much. I think the only reason he super, seems super strong is because he, he doesn't take fights he knows he will lose, right? He just avoids dumb and unnecessary fights. That's why people think, oh my god, he could, he could take on Madara. I'm like, no, Itachi can't take on Madara. Madara literally has a Renegon and Sage's six paths. Okay, like, fam. Knowing that, I don't think Itachi has internal Monkey... Itachi does not have the internal Monkey Go Sharingan. That is, like, one of the b most powerful things that uh, Uchiha can ha possess. And Itachi doesn't. How is Itachi the strongest Uchiha? I'm sorry. Madara literally had a power of a god at one point. But, 
Other than that, like, that's the community, though. There's a little bit of a rant on the community. I think Noah Shapudin, the biggest gripe out of it was that it was 44% or something like that was filler. And a lot of that filler wasn't good. And they had the, there was, like, a one really weird filler where it was supposed to be a movie, but the movie got canceled or something. I forget the exact reason. And then they adapted that exact arc and exact animation style, exact voice actors into the show without building it up to it at all. It's just like that. Right? In the middle of a major arc. And it was super confusing. I enjoyed it. It definitely is a longer show as well. But I will place this I think a high A. I think that's fairly fair. It's not a perfect show. A lot of filler and you can skip a lot of the filler, which I don't want an anime where I can skip shows and still understand the plot, right? I want shows that are mostly plot, maybe a couple filler episodes, which is completely fine. Uh, now we move on to the next Sword Art show. So uh, Sword Art Online might get split up into multiple different shows. Uh, this one is Alfheim Online, which I think is Sword Art, 2, Sword Art Online 2. I might be wrong in that. It might be, I think it might be the second half of Season 1. I always got confused by that. Um, AFO my opinion is worse than sort of online it kind of has rode the wave of it and it's was like cool then you have the whole austin as a slave thing at one point uh it did have one really cool storyline which with yui and asuna about them to being family so that really tugged my heartstrings and like still makes me teary eye when i watch it again like anything with like families i don't know why i always like tear up like digimon and shit or i tear up so just because of that, I'll put it below SAO, but I don't, just because I have nostalgia for it, uh, it kind of made me tear up at points, but not not as good as the original. And for this next one, I'm going a bit off from, you know, going straight from the left to right. I'm going to do Digimon before I do these two, the original Digimon series. Now, the original Digimon series is technically the first anime I ever watched. Uh,. It was amazing. Like, I watched this with my brother growing up. I've rewatched it probably mul- more times than I can count. Uh, it has such a ho- strong place in my heart because I grew up with it. I love the storylines of the characters. I specifically love the Matt and TK storyline, right? Because uh, TK is my favorite character, Angemon's my favorite Digimon. And this is an S tier, S tier anime. It, it just holds such a special part in my special place in my heart. And nothing can take that place away from me, right? But then we run to Digimon 02. Uh, Digimon Adventure 2 is the only other Digimon season I've ever seen. I've tried watching the other ones. Tried, tried watching Tamers. Tried watching whatever two, 3 is. That might be Tamers. Like 4. I've tried watching other ones. I just It's just none of them are good as the original. Digimon 02 is the only one I watched that was season 1. Because I feel like they did a good job of getting the exact same uh, feel of season one, but fell short in other areas and try to copy some character arcs uh, that I just feel like they could come with more a little more unique. So I'll put it in the A tier, just because it's good, but I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the original. And now we move on to Digimon Adventure Trot. So Digimon Adventure Try is the continuation, I don't know if continuation is the right word, it's the sequel, let's go with that, of Digimon Adventure 1, the original Digimon series with the original cast uh, and everything that. It's uh, technically a movie series, technically an anime, depending how you watch it. Some places have it as individual episodes, some places have it as a movie series. I watch it as movies. Uh doesn't matter it's exact they don't change anything for the movies to however however you watch it it's just how the content spread out i loved it it has a ghibli style style ish of animation at points it has amazing character building like you never really have a dull moment it has really good episodes or movies and points where you like tear up and you like almost like cry right 
and Song Point is an S tier. It's such a good anime. It's arguably like it's something that I've actually like teared up at before. Okay, now we move on to One Punch Man. Now One Punch Man, I think most people accurately place it. It's a really good anime, but not the best. Right? I liked it a lot, but I think things that happened the first two seasons I think what saved this anime from being put where I'm gonna put it would be season three. I think season three of this anime will make it an S tier anime, but right now it's a B tier. It's just really cool fight scenes. Ooh, but it's not as bad as, it's not ooh, I think it's better than SAO. I am gonna do this actually. I'm gonna put this A tier, then move SAO to B tier. Yeah, that feel this feels right. This feels right. Yeah, it's a good anime, but not as good as S tier. I think the next season will be an S tier anime. And this one, I don't want any hate for this. I'm sorry. I'm a bad, bad anime watcher. I'm not season season three or any season four of Attack on Titan. I see season one and two. And it's a very specific reason I've only seen two seasons. I watched season one, and I loved it. I think season one is some of the best anime ever made. I think that's where this TV show, this uh, anime gets most of its hype from, is season one. And then they dropped the pile of shit that is season two. Season two had none of the world building. It didn't have as nearly as tense moments, as coolest fights, and the dumbest plot twists. Uh, so I almost want to rank two seasons differently, but it's one anime, and so I'm without. It's not a sort of situation where each anime, each season is kind of really different from the pe previous. And so for that season two alone, this anime is put in C tier. Season two was so bad that it ruined the amazing world building that is season one. I'm sorry, I don't like the so I plot I plot it season two. I don't get the hype around it. Season one is an S tier. Season two is an F tier. So I'm just going in the middle here. Okay. Now, Cowboy Bebop, the actual anime. Now this is an anime that I watched right before I watched Naruto Shippuden. Just so you guys have like a time frame when I watch these, which is this the summer before I went to college. Which was 20... The summer of 2020. Like the summer of 2020, yeah. Um, I loved it. I think it's amazing. The music's amazing. The character's building is amazing. Each character has depth to them. Even if they're a side character, right? They have amounts of, amount of depth. And it never feels like it's too much to keep hold of. Like they... You are always aware of each character and each character is used perfectly and they don't force anything upon you right like ed has such a deep background but it's just used for a, com a comic relief but you still feel connection to ed faye has this massive backstory how faye's actually hundreds of years old you know jet has his background of he's a cop and you know that's how it plays into his overall character or you know spike is the old gangster now it's hunter uh bounty hunter cowboy whatever you want to call it you know each character has massive depth and i think it's a really good anime it's an s tier it's, i think this is the best anime i've ever seen it's not even close now we move on to the original pokemon series the original Pokemon series is like most people kind of solved it for me. Right, Gen 1 for a long time until uh, Platinum, and now I'm working towards my way on uh, Sword and Shield, was like the first games I played. Uh, I played the game before I watched the anime, I'm pretty sure. Or it was very close to. I grew up because my brother's 90, born in the 90s, so I'm kind of, I kind of grew up with the 90s animes. Pokemon is 
I have nothing wrong to say about it, but I have nothing super good to say about it. You know, it's a very nostalgic anime for me. I think it's better than black and white, but I do not think it's A tier. I would put this right above Throw Online. It's a good anime. I heavily suggest watching it. But you know, it's just it's it's a it's a nostalgic anime. I think if I went back and watched it now, it would not be as good as when I watched it when I was a kid. So I'm at. Afro Samurai. I uh, we can call it the anime. I technically it is. Most places classify it as such, even though it has no sub. Right? Uh there is technically a very, I think a manga based upon it. And all American like high voice actors like Samuel Jackson's in it and such. You know, so obviously we consider the most people consider the anime. I do. Although it kind of teeters a line between like Avatar, which I forgot to put on this list. Don't worry. I'll tell you where I put that once I'm done. Afro Samurai. It is really short. I'll say this. You can watch this in a day. You could. Like, it's five episodes. That's two and a half hours. And it has a movie as well. I've not seen the movie yet. Uh, but I probably will at some point. Afro Samurai. Good movie on a good TV show, but really cool fight scenes. But I never felt a real connection to the character, right? I mostly watched for the fight scenes, and the fight scenes are dope. But the character development is not there because it's only five episodes, right? You're all right. They do their best job in five episodes, but I think a 12 episode show would have been better for this. I'm putting it at a A tier though, because of the fight scenes. Okay, A tier, I think that's safe. Now we're going to show to an anime that I have not finished the cry, the final arc. I have not finished the final arc, but I've watched up to the, I've watched like half of the final arc. Don't worry, I'm working on the final arc slowly it's a long anime so give me some room hunter 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 is one of those animes you watch because a friend recommends it to you right or you like see a meme about the characters or see or work the characters for me it was a friend recommended to me in middle school and i watched the majority of it in middle school i'm trying to get back into it now and i'm in college hunter hunter is really fucking good I don't know if it's S tier good, but it's really good. I would put this in a A tier. Right above, I would put it above One Punch Man. That's just where I'm at. Like, it's good. I really like the uh, exam arc. I think that's really cool. I think they did a really good job handling Ashoka. You know, you, you just never a moment like, like, if it's any other, like, shown in the anime, where it's like, oh, maybe he isn't the villain? You know, like, you know, like, Naruto, you have, like, pain and such. But with Hunter Hunter, you don't have those pain. You don't have that. What you have is just straight villainy. There's clear villains in this TV show. There's never a gray line, right? There's never a redemption arc for any villain. And I like that. I like having people that are just villains because they're villains, right? I don't want the backstory of a villain. I just want him to be, do everything in his power, kill someone, right? To do evil. That's what a villain in my mind should be. And Hunter Hunter delivers on that promise. But it falls short in other areas, and this might get this. A lot of the stuff I, the more character development I want to see, and more cool fight scenes I want to see, might come after. Uh, at once I finish it, but right now it says an A. It's not, it's not bad. It's not. It's it's good, but it's not as good as the S tier animes. Now Demon Slayer S tier. 
I would put it underneath Cowboy Bebop. But in 12 episodes, they do more character. No, 24 episodes? I forgot if it's 12 or 24. Um, they do more character building than most animes. I am also biased because of this. Um, wait, that's not what I wanted. It's really good. The character building is never subpar. There's never a moment you feel I don't know what, I don't know how to describe it like never a moment never a dull moment. There we go. And that one uh scene where he's facing off a I'll get the specific name, it's like an S tier demon. Right, I've got the name of the specific name, sorry, it's been a while. And he just with the with the with the guy with the blood threads and like and he just fucking just goes in and like almost kills him. Holy shit. That was a pog ass moment. Like the fight scenes in this and the character building in such a short time period are so impressive that you are grabbed almost immediately there's never a moment where you aren't waiting for the next episode like for me i'd spam next episode until i could literally not stay awake and i think that's what anime should be that that might just be me but i think anime should just have you on your edge of your seat literally like oh my god what's happening oh my god right uh it is more of a shonen based Right, like the the hero always wins type of thing, but my God, it's a perfect anime. Now Naruto. Now this is Naruto. The first two twenty episodes is a three three hundred, depending how much filler you watch or whatever. Some places I forgot the exact number. Wait, this came, this came before Shippuden. So this anime, it's good. I think it's a typical shonen anime. There isn't much to it. I think the Sasuke arc though is really cool. Where they go try to rescue Sasuke. I think that's a very important arc. And has some, it gave a lot of character development. That I would have been okay with. If the Shippuden didn't happen. Right. But it's nowhere near as good as Shippuden. I'm not going to try to pretend it's good as Shippuden. I think... Overall, Shippuden's a better anime, but this is a prereq. Like you had to take a prereq, right? It's like in college. Sometimes you take a boring ass prereq to take a cool class. Like I'm taking some a bunch of dumb intro classes my freshman year because you have to take those to get into really cool classes. Like uh, maybe a filmmaking class, but you have to take like film studies, right? You don't get a strain the cool shit, and so I think. Naruto, it's a C tier anime. Typical shonen, not much to impress. Some cool things, some cool lines. My favorite line is uh, where Sakura makes fun of Naruto for being an, being an orphan in front of Sasuke, who is an orphan. But overall, I think it's a C tier anime. It's not that good. It has some good moments, but it's not perfect. I mean, I like that Kakashi literally hard carries the whole series. And, you know, it's just not a good speed to your enemies. Now we'll move on to Gun Girl Online. Gun Girl Online might, is the only sword on it one I want to put in A tier. Because of the, because it actually played off Sword Online. It played off the original series. And had an actual really cool mystery with the, I forgot the specific name because it's been a couple years. But the guy with the mask and he had like, could kill people through uh from anywhere in the game and kill them in real life right and he was part of the night guild or whatever the back black not like it's like a, one of the guilds back like, film guilds in uh sao whatever such a like you're always on you're like oh my god who is it right and sit on that was a really cool addition <laughs> i'm not biased at all <sighs> um 
I think it's a A tier anime. It's the best SEO version so far. I've not seen AZO. So I can't tell you that much. But this one really cool to occur development. I loved it. Ten out of ten I wouldn't say ten out of ten, I'd say just some things I'm like, oh I mean that could have been handled better. I mean Kirito's trap in it, which you know it's okay. It's 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 a good anime, but not perfect like these. And now we've on to Naruto the last. Uh which is funny, it's the last one. I even I did not even intend for that. This website just did it for me. Naruto the last is a good movie. But and it shows Naruto and Hinata falling in love. But that is also the where this movie does not I don't know how to describe it. It's like the ending of Naruto Shippuden should have been the ending for Naruto the last movie. And not and Naruto Shippuden should have had a different ending. I don't, I don't want to spoil too much in case you're watching the shows because I think more more people this is more mainstream so it might get spoiled more for people who are watching but I think the, I think the ending for Naruto Shippuden should have been an ending for Naruto the last and Naruto Shippuden should have gotten a very different ending uh, so I'll put this A tier and well be at it I'm feeling generous let's move this to D tier you know Simply for 1010. This it gets a tier bump for 1010. So this is my list of animes. Tell me how you think. I'll leave a template of I'll leave the link to this template below. Let me say the download so we can uh Thunder's list. What do you guys think? Uh, I will tweet this out to, you know, grind engagements. But I know, sorry for the long video after a couple months of not uploading. But you know, this is content I like. So if you don't like the content, don't watch. Uh, anyway, peace.